Hey gorgeous people, I pray that you are blessed and highly favored. You know, it's your girl, Kenesha Brickering. I'm usually here with me and my husband. If you don't see me, you'll see my husband. And um, welcome to Grace Walk Family. We're usually here talking about our life story, our life events, our life experience, hoping that it will help you to change your life for better. Um, today, I'm talking about putting a value on yourself. Oh, is this topic beautiful because a lot of us are living life where we have not put no value on ourselves when we look at the workplace there's people being paid five pounds per hour and there's people being paid 500 pound per hour there's people being paid 10,000 pounds per hour there's people being paid one million pounds for a talk. There's people being paid 10 million for their presence. They have a value, a work value, because they have proven themselves to be worthy. Now, you have to prove yourself to be worthy. You need to prove yourself to be worthy by putting a value on you. You need to prove yourself worthy by the way you allow people to speak to you, by the way you allow people to deal with you, by the way you allow people to navigate your life. You need to prove that you are worthy. There are some of us, we are in relationships, whether it's friendship or romance, where you are allowing people to do the most. They're doing the most. They're disrespecting you just by their presence. And you sit there and you allow, you allow that person to continuously mistreat you, continuously mishandle you, continuously take away your value. Take away your worth. And what that shows others and the world is that you've not put no value on yourself. You've not put no worth on yourself. How can you allow someone to call you out your name and the next minute you're in bed with them? How could you allow someone to call you out of your name and the next minute you're cooking dinner, smiling, kikiing, laughing, like everything's okay? How is that possible? You didn't even have a sit down. You didn't even have a talk about it. It's become so normal for you. It's become an everyday thing for you. So when it happens, it's like it's, it's rainy or it's sunny. It's normal. That is not right and that is not life. You need to prove your value. No one can prove your value for you. No one can tell you or anyone what is your limits, what is your boundaries. You've even stopped paying attention to your feelings. You stop paying attention to your heart. You stop paying attention to what you think because you no longer is in control of your own life. You're allowing someone to just kick you around, just kick you around and push you around and mistreat you. Never saying anything, never speaking up for yourself and never Sticking to what you say. Oh, you need to leave now. Two minutes later, he's in your bed. He's in your sofa. She's on your phone. Oh, you're messaging back. Busting jokes. That's the same person that just devalued you. You need to prove your worth. Prove your worth. What are you worth? What are you worth? Can someone just speak to you anyhow and it's okay? What are you worth? Can you come up with someone being your life, being your bed, eating your food and cheating on you? And it's okay. What are you worth? What are you worth? What are you worth? Like seriously, 
what are you worth? We need to be, we need to become more clear. We need to become more clear of our worth. No, you're not going to speak to me like that. No, you're not going to just, even if you're not speaking, you're not going to make, I'm not going to be speaking to you and your body language is saying that you're tired of hearing me. No, no. If I'm speaking to you, I expect you to sit up, look me in the face, be attentive, and treat me like how you would want to be treated. How I'm speaking to you, 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 you slumming over, you hissing your teeth, you wiggling about. No, sit up. Sit up. And listen to what I'm saying. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Hear me and respond correctly. We ain't going to be doing this. We ain't going to be doing this. No, we not. No, we not. We're going to treat each other properly. We're going to talk to each other with respect. We're going to handle each other with care. Or we're going to go our separate ways. Find your boundaries. Find your values. Find out what hurts you. Find out what makes you feel disrespected. Find out what makes you feel unheard and unseen and draw a line through it. Uh-uh, you've been doing this lately and I don't like it. So you either need to stop that or we're going to have to talk about this relationship. Because if you value me and if you respect me, you're going to take on board what I'm saying you're going to listen to me and you're going to work towards change. And I get it. Everyone can't change overnight. But, but let me see you working on change. Let me see you catching yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said it that way. I know you don't like that. Forgive me. I'm working on it. Let me see you changing. Let me see you working. And here's the thing. I'm not asking you to change who you are. I'm asking you to respect and value me and understand I don't like these things. So don't do those things to me. Right? If I'm, and here's the thing. If you're asking for the bare minimum, right? You're asking for them to listen to you when you're talking. You're asking them to not interrupt you and allow you to finish what you're saying and you will allow them to speak. You're asking them, right, to not shout at you. Just don't be disrespectful, right? And that's a problem. Shouldn't that be normal, natural? Wasn't that something you guys were doing in the beginning. Now we together, all form of respect, all form of value is gone. Put a value on yourself. Prove that you are worthy with your actions and your behavior. Prove that you are worthy with what you are allowing people to do to you and you continue to stay. You continue to close your mouth and allow them to deal with you however they want to. If you want to cheat, you're cheating. I don't like it, but you keep doing it. But I stay. You want to hit me? I don't like it, but I stay. You want to disrespect me and call me out my name. I don't like it, but I stay. After a while, we can no longer blame the person who's doing the thing to you. 
after a while, we have to say, but this ain't brand new. But you keep staying. You stay. That means you haven't found your true worth and your true value. You expect everyone to treat you a certain way, but you won't do that for yourself. You expect people to love you, but you don't love yourself enough to come out of a relationship that keeps causing you pain and trauma. And that person refused to acknowledge their behavior. They refused to change, but you stay. You stay. One thing I don't hide is how rough my marriage was in the beginning. It was rough for as long as I can remember. See two broken people coming together and we say we're going to do life. But one thing I'm very proud of my marriage is once we recognize that mess, that thing that causing that trauma and that pain, we both make it our business to work on it. And that's why we've gotten better over the years, right? We've gotten better. We ain't got, we've not gotten worse. We've not gone backwards. We've gotten better. Better in the way we speak to each other. Better in the way we listen to each other. Better in the way we respect each other. Better in the way we respond to each other. In pain. In disagreement. Better. And if you ain't getting better and you're getting worse and you're going backwards, think about it. Think about it. And sometimes we can't do this on our own. Sometimes we need to involve wise people to help us get through our storms. We had to involve people in our marriage. We needed it. We needed counsel. We needed guidance. We needed to be taught. But that was never enough. We also needed to humble ourselves and to listen. Listen to the guidance and the counsel and the wisdom of others who've been through it, who's going through it. Listen and do as we are told, even when it's hard, even when it's difficult. Find your worth. Find your worth. Sit down and really write down what you are worth. I am worth you speaking to me with respect, even when you're angry. I am worth you not raising your voice at me like I'm your child when you are frustrated. I am worth you coming to me and telling me what you were upset about before there's an argument and you throw it in my face then. I am worth knowing the truth. What are you worth? What are you worth? I am worth knowing if you no longer want to be here. I am worth knowing if you want to go and find something new. I'm worth you not doing that behind my back and lying to my face and deceiving me. What are you worth? What are you worth? I am worth feeling loved, seen, and adored. I am worth you spending time with me and me not begging you for your time. I am worth going out with my girls, seeing my family and friends without your complaint. What are you worth? When you get your worth clear and precise and you stick to your worth, no one can take that from you. 
unless you allow them to. I hope I was not just here bobbling and you didn't get anything. I hope something I said sparked something in you to change your life for better. God bless.